Today's book recap is A Thousand Sons by Graham McNeil. It is the 12th entry in the Horus Heresy series set in the Warhammer 40k universe. The novel primarily focuses on the Thousand Sons Legion of Space Marines and their Primarch, Magnus the Red, and his failure to follow the Emperor's edict that led to the destruction of his Legion's homeworld. The story begins with the Thousand Suns Legion conducting a study on planet Agoru, a primitive and superstitious human world where the Legion discovers a sealed Eldar webway within an artificial mountain. But this discovery results in an awakening of several ancient Eldar Titans. This results in Thousand Suns Legion finding themselves in a dire battle for their lives, but manage to defeat the Titans. Magnus pushes further inside the heart of the mountain. During the expedition, a demon manages to possess one of the local human chieftains accompanying the Legion, creating a vortex-like monstrosity of dark tentacles that attack the Space Marines. During the fight, Magnus finds himself in the center of the vortex and glimpses into a passageway to other realms. When he successfully subdues the demonic force, it taunts him with a vision of Prospero, his Legion's homeworld burning. Saying it's the inevitable future, but Magnus dismisses it as a cheap trick. As they proceed to bring Aguru into compliance, we learn more about their psychic abilities and how they're warrior scholars in pursuit of knowledge. Unfortunately, these qualities make them suspicious and unpopular outliers among their fellow Space Marine legions. The story takes a crucial turn when the Emperor of Mankind convenes a council on Nakia to debate the use of psychic powers. Magnus the Red argues passionately for the right to use these powers, but he is overruled. The Emperor, fearing the dangers of the warp, the realm from which psychic powers are drawn, issues a decree known as the Edict of Nikea, banning the use of psychic powers among the Space Marines. Despite the Edict, Magnus continues his psychic explorations, driven by his thirst for knowledge. This leads him to discover a plot by Horus, the War Master and the most trusted of all the Primarchs, to rebel against the Emperor. In his desperation to warn the Emperor, Magnus uses a powerful psychic message. He overreaches, inadvertently breaching the psychic defenses of the Emperor's palace on Terra, and causing considerable damage and accidentally opening a path to a demonic invasion of Terra itself. The Emperor manages to contain the damage, but is furious with Magnus's disobedience and the destruction caused. He orders the Space Wolves Legion, led by Primarch Lehman Russ, to bring Magnus and his Legion to Terra to face judgment. However, Horus, who has already turned against the Emperor, secretly changes these orders, instructing the Space Wolves to destroy the Thousand Suns instead. Ahriman, the chief librarian of the Thousand Suns, discovers a prophecy warning of the impending attack, but his warnings are ignored. So when the Space Wolves launch a surprise attack on Prospero, it catches the Thousand Suns entirely unprepared. Despite their psychic prowess, they are no match for the combined might of the Space Wolves and a detachment of Sisters of Silence, an Imperial organization able to nullify psychic powers. Magnus is devastated by what he sees as his failure while witnessing the destruction of Prospero and his legion. He finds himself in a duel with Lehman Russ, but he is defeated and presumed dead, his physical form destroyed. However, his psychic essence survives. In a desperate move, Magnus makes a pact with the chaos god Zinch to save his sons, sacrificing his own essence and leading the remnants of his legion into the warp effectively dooming his legion to serve chaos. Ahriman, now the de facto leader of the remaining Thousand Suns, leads them to the planet of the Sorcerers in the Eye of Terror, a region of the galaxy dominated by the forces of chaos. From there, they continue their existence, marked as traitors to the Imperium and servants of chaos gods. Thanks for watching. Leave us a like and subscribe for more content like this.